<laughs> oh man. Oh, um, okay. Well, hello everyone. I'm back again with a second episode of me rambling on for 15 minutes into a black screen. So I've realized it's going to be hard to do this often because I'm never home alone. And pretty much the only time I can do these is when I'm home alone because I don't want to, like, you know, my, my family just being like, hey, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm recording a video and you just ruined it. And it's, it's gonna, it's... So, yeah. If you don't know what this series is, it's literally just me talking for 15 minutes. It's just whatever comes to mind. It's unscripted. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. Uh, what to talk about? Oh, um, hmm. How would you guys like it if I started a, another new series? It's it's Toontown Rewritten series, because that's a thing. Do any of you remember that really old game, Toontown? I do. I had nightmares about it when I was a child because of the cogs and stuff. But anyway, it's still a very fun game, and it got shut down, just like Club Penguin did. But now there's Toontown and Club Penguin Rewritten, which means that um, the fans of the game pretty much just remade the game. As simple as that. They just like mastered the art of coding, mastered the art of graphic design, and just pretty much made the game exactly as it was. And it's awesome, honestly. Like I haven't, I don't think I've done Club Penguin rewritten yet, but Toontown rewritten that game. That game is great, and I might want to start a new series of that. Oh, oh man, because I'm bored. And, yeah. So, what else? Ah, oh, man. Okay, so, I have this big bucket of Orbeez right here. And they're still, they're still like, trying to grow up all the way. They're, they're a bit shriveled right now. I'm not sure if you can hear that let's get closer mm, listen to that mm. Mm. okay I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm so sorry that you had to witness that but yeah Orbeez they're cool except they're not they're not actually Orbeez um, let, let's get the box and or not box the container Let's see what they are. They're called brain bows, which are like Orbeez, except once you're done with them, you can shrink them back to their original size and use them again. And I'm not sure if you can do that with Orbeez, but maybe, probably not. So yeah, these things are pretty cool. I just got a Java update. Uh, no, thank you. Let's not do that. Mm. Okay. So, in other news, I still have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, I just got another Discord message that happens quite frequently. Um, let's, let's see what else is there to talk about. Uh, as you know from my last video, I'm in the band, and that's, that's a pretty fun thing. And what you might not know is that as part of the band, you get to go on a cruise every two years. So that's like lit af, litty titty, if I can say, and I just did. <laughs> this channel isn't family friendly anymore. But yeah, I went on a cruise and it was pretty fun. So I might as well tell you some stories from that. But hold on, what time is it? Look what time it is. It's 4.20. Hell yeah. Okay. Back on topic, um, so, um, yeah, I went on a band cruise, and on this cruise, it's, it's like a full cruise ship, it's not just like a cruise for like 70 people, it's a full-blown cruise ship, not, not specifically for us, there were other people on it too, but like, it was still an amazing time, like, probably one of the greatest weeks of my life. Um, in the arcade, there's this play till you win claw machine. And I spent 
$13 on it, getting 13 rubber ducks. So, that that's pretty awesome. Like, rubber ducks are lit. So, I'm going to try to find another one of those machines to expand my duck collection. Because I didn't find that machine until, like, two days before the trip is over. So I didn't get to spend a lot of time there. So I want to get more. Um, also, there were some drink shenanigans going on. And by drink, I don't mean alcoholic drink, because that's bad, and don't do that. Um, who am I? Who am I? Health teacher? Like, ugh. I mean, so I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna accept it when I, maybe when I'm older, but like, whatever. So, there, there were some shenanigans going on with drinks, and so when we got on, our natural reaction was to ask for a Coke, because... You know, Coke is the, the way to go, except I'm more of a fan of, of Sprite, to be honest. But, you know, that's still a Coke product. And then they're like, is Pepsi okay? And we're like, uh, I guess so. And, the, and then somehow Beepus started, which is Pepsi, but Beepus. And, you know, so that, that, that just got out of control because, you know, a bunch of teenagers, rowdy teenagers without adults, memes get started. And then... Pretty soon, all of the waiters and waitresses on the ship knew what Beepus meant. Like, my one friend called for room service, and then he asked for blah 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 and three Beepuses. And then the, the, the room service person was like, okay, and then hung up. And then she called back, and was like, oh, by the way, the three drinks are going to cost extra. So she obviously knew what Beepus was, thanks to my group. So that was fun. And if you know anything about the drink Shirley Temple, again, not alcoholic, it's just like Sprite, or in this case, Sierra Mist, because that's the beepest version of Sprite. And some, like, cherry flavoring. Yeah, we, we changed that name to Shirley Temple. So that, that was fun. Uh, what else? There... The rooms that we had were, like, inside rooms. They were very cramped, but we managed to fit all four people into the room. And so a lot of times we would just spend in the hallway outside of our rooms. There were eight rooms, like, in a little hallway cross-section thing. So that's about 24 people. And then we would also get, like, visitors from other hallways. And it was just, like, a massive crowd of people. But not, not all of us were there at all times. So one time we were all there and someone was like, Hey, I'm going to go on a Beepus run. Does anyone want anything? And then, like, everyone raised their hands. And the total came out to be 12 Beepuses and 3 Hurley Bimples. <laughs> so, like, 8 of us just went up to one of the bars it was like hey can we have 12 beepuses and three hurly pimples and they knew exactly what we were talking about and we just walked around the ship carrying 15 drinks and yeah <laughs> it was it was it was a fun time hmm, yeah pretty fun and i get to go on another one in two years that will be my senior year and that's gonna be pretty cool if I do say so myself. And I say so. Okay, so, um, another one of the greatest weeks of my life was the week spent at Summit Bechtel Reserve for, uh, Venture Fest. <gasps> oh man, I am a Boy Scout and also a Venture Crew member, and my, my, uh, my troops Boys uh, Venture Crew chapter got to go to Venture Fest at Summit last year during the summer. Um, that's like a very much smaller version of Jamboree, which is honestly, in my opinion, better because there's not many people there. So it's not crowded. There's no lines for anything. It's great. So we just like Spent the whole week at a camp doing camp things. 
I mean, I do that like every year, but this one was special because I'm not sure if it's the longest zip line in North America, but it, it's it was a pretty long zip line. They had a three quarter mile zip line, and it was awesome. Like you started at the top, and then the whole thing took like a very long time, like thirty seconds to finish. And like for a zip line, that's long. I think. I haven't been on many. I think, no, that was my first one. <laughs> but still, like, honestly, that was great, that zip line. Um, so, I also lost my phone there, but then people were good scouts because, you know, it's a scout camp and turned it in and I got it back. So that's good. Oh, they also took selfies on it <laughs> because, because, well, I don't know. And I, I, sadly, I didn't run into them again to thank them for turning in my phone. I would have liked to since I saw what they looked like. But oh well. There were also a few memes started there. Like <laughs> Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> oh man. And Quinn. Uh, and Jenny. Just, just a bunch of people. I, I'm pretty sure that most of you know who Monica Lewinsky is. But if not, I'll give you some background. She's the one who blew Bill Clinton in the Oval Office, or, or in our case, the Oro Office, because, haha, memes, funny. So, we asked one of these, one of the, the camp staff people, if, this was Quinn, by the way, uh, we asked if he knew who Monica was, and he's like, oh, is Monica on staff? And we're like, oh, she's on staff, all right. She's on staff in the oral office, and and it was and it was pretty funny. And also, we had a love hate relationship with Quinn because, like, um, uh, I don't know. He he was like, Pokemon Go is bad and something like that. And then and then we got to know him better, and he was like, Hey, you guys are pretty cool. After the whole Monica <laughs> incident, and then he was like, New Jersey people are lame. Philadelphia is where it at, or something, not New Jersey. And it's like, okay, Quinn, I see how it is. And then it, it just went up and down like that. And then Jenny, Jenny, ah, yes, Jenny. The Jenny from, from Forrest Gump. Jenny, you don't know what love is. That's probably a very bad impression. I haven't actually seen the Forrest Gump movies, and I really should. But yeah, that, that's pretty much what it is, just non-stop throughout the trip. And, oh man, repelling. Oh, that was fun. So there was a rock wall there, 40 feet high. 30 feet maybe, I don't know. But very high. And I don't really have afraid of, a fear of heights, I just have a fear of falling. So I was like, hey, you know what would be a good idea if I climbed up to the top of this and repelled off of it? Because you are allowed to do that. So I did that, and then I spent like, five minutes up top, like, ah! and, then, and then my friend was like, here, I'll do it with you, and I'm like, okay, and then, and then I went down, and then I went up and did it again, and then went up and did it again, and I did it, like, a lot of times, and honestly, by the end of it, I could do it in, like, the whole 40 feet in less than 10 seconds, probably, because it was really fun, and right next to the rock wall, there was... A little lake that you could swim in and do paddle boards, or in our case, battle boards. And what that means is we would take like nine paddle boards, stack them up into a big fortress, and then row it at other fortresses and try to kill everyone. Yep, this is what we do in Scouts, everyone. We don't learn how to tie knots, we don't learn how to set fires. That's the stereotype. Like, people who, who were in Scouts for one week were like, Oh, I learned more more about outdoors from my uncle in, like, two hours than I did in my one week of Boy Scout camp. Ugh. And then it's like, yeah, shut up. That's not what Boy Scouts is. Boy Scouts is having fun with your friends, doing crazy stuff. Like, oh, man. Like, mm, paddle boarding. Yeah, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't battle board with your uncle. Like, that's stupid. Like, honestly, Boy Scouts isn't very much about learning how to tie knots and stuff. It's about the memories. And I, I, I don't know what got into me there, but, like, yeah, Boy Scouts is pretty fun. Sadly, I'm going to age out in a few years, and it's going to be sad. 
But oh look, look what time it is. It's about time to wrap it up. So I'll see you some other time when I can do this again. Peace.